Hello everyone, my name is Kenny Sheritz and I'm a professional drum technician, drummer, and online educator slash content creator. As a backline technician, I've had the pleasure of working for artists such as Stevie Wonder, Rihanna, Janet Jackson, and Dead and & Company, and drummers such as Kenny Aronoff, Stanley Randolph, Little John Roberts, and Mickey Hart. As an online educator, I create content for my YouTube drum tuning and tech channel, YouTube Kenny Sherritz, as well as for my website, KennySherritz.com, where you can book one-on-one -on -one online drum tuning lessons with me or stream one of my step-by-step -step drum tuning lessons. So today, I'm here to talk about why you've been seeing Earthworks audio drum mics on the videos of so many online drum personalities and on pretty much every video on Drumeo. Why you're seeing Earthworks audio mics on videos by product manufacturers such as Zildjian, Vic Firth, and Pearl. It's the same reason I trusted the DK7 to handle my latest drum tuning video session, which we're in the middle of right now. And that reason is the way these Earthworks audio mics capture the full and complete sound of the drum kit I'm recording. Now when I create a tuning profile for myself or for one of my artists, I want to hear a clean image of my work, not the color of the microphone. That way I know the engineer is getting exactly what I'm giving them. Hopefully, no EQ needed. And that's exactly what these mics gave me during this drum tuning video session. Crisp, clean, huge sounding drums with no extra EQ or special engineering needed. We simply set them up, found the sweet spot on the preamp, pushed record, and we had huge, modern sounding drum tracks. Now it's the speed of the reaction of these mics due to their design and their small diaphragms that flawlessly captures the transients and information embedded in the first half of the initial sound wave so you get a truly pure and clean image of what you are recording. Because you don't have to be a great audio engineer or a pro drum tech to get great drum sounds with these mics, they help speed up the content creation process by making it quicker to get drum sounds and quicker in the mixing and post-production process. These Earthworks audio mics take away the friction inherent in audio engineering, which often takes away from your creativity during the content creation process. And that friction can cut into your time, energy, and money. And who wants that? Why do corrective EQ when you can do creative EQ? Now, I could sit here all day long and talk about the technical aspects of these microphones, but there's a lot of videos out there that already do that. I would rather show you what these Earthworks mics are doing for me in my drum tuning video shoot by showing you how they cleanly capture the different tunings that I use for myself and for my artists. So the first mic we're going to check out is the DM20 on my toms. Beyond their sleek design, which eliminates the need for a lot of stands on my shoots, these mics perfectly capture the tom tunings I do for my artists and for my viewers. Now I've got this tom tuned super low to a perfect fourth, which means the bottom head is a perfect fourth above the top head. It's a big, open, but spongy rock sound with deep tones, which is exactly what I used with Pete Thomas on Elvis Costello. And I have my floor tom tuned to the same interval, a perfect fourth with the top, bottom head being a perfect fourth higher than the top head. And I have these toms tuned a perfect fifth apart. Now this tuning is great for big outdoor festivals and big halls, but when we would play theaters, a tuning that was a little bit higher in pitch and a little bit warmer in sound usually was the way to go. And the only way I know to do that is to raise this head a half step so now the interval between the two heads is a major third. So let's go ahead and do that. So now we have a major third between these two heads. Let's hear out sounds.
Oh yeah, that's exactly what I'm talking about. I can clearly hear the difference in tone between the two tunings. And that is valuable to me because that is actually what my craft is. So let's do the same to the floor tom so our intervals match. And there you have it, y'all. This tom is quickly tuned to a major third. And now we have matching intervals. Let's see if it warmed it up on this too. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, the tom sound is absolutely more focused, a bit brighter, yet still warm. And that's what the major third will give you, especially bringing up the tension a little bit more. It helps warm the sound at higher tensions. And again, this is one of the main reasons I'm loving these microphones, because you can clearly hear the differences and the subtle nuances that come with changing this tuning from a perfect fourth to a major third. All right, next up is the DM20 on my snare drum. Now I have this snare drum tuned to a perfect fifth at a medium tension with the head on the top tuned to a B flat. And I'm loving the way it sounds. But what if my drummer wants it just a little bit higher and it's right before the show? Oh my God, well my instinct as a drummer would be take this top head up a whole step to create a perfect fourth interval between the two heads instead of the perfect fifth. So let's go ahead and do that. The biggest impact the DM20 can make on your snare sound, however, is when you choose to use snares of different materials or different depths or different sizes or with different drum heads in order to enhance your song or your recording. Let's check a few out. Now I heard a rumor that the Earthworks SR20 LS bass drum mic is okay, you know? Just okay. Hey Paul, you ready to rock this? All right, now that we've dispelled that myth and rumor, I will point out that mic placement with the SR20 LS is everything, and it doesn't go where you usually think a bass drum mic goes. This mic works best if you slide it a little bit deeper into the shell and right next to the shell, and then have it angled slightly towards the beater, but not right directly at the beater. If you do this, you're gonna get an incredible kick sound every time you set up this mic. And finally, we come to the match set of SR25 overheads that they send with the DK7 drum kit. And I gotta be honest, y'all, I am absolutely loving these overheads. Crisp, clean, pure.
pure. I mean, you almost don't need any of the other mics in the mix. So let's check out what just these overheads sound like. And what's especially great about these Earthworks Audio SR25 overheads is they can handle high SPLs and with their 140 degree sweet spot can be placed pretty much anywhere around the kit, above it or around it, and they're gonna sound incredible. So let's check out a couple of different mic placements. So this wraps up my opinion video on the Earthworks Audio DK7 drum mic kit. I hope you've come to understand how easily these awesome mics can capture rich, pure, crisp, powerful drum sounds out of your well-tuned drum kit and help give a modern sound to your modern content creation. Now these mics are available individually, but with the sexy carrying case that they come with, this is a set of drum microphones that any drummer, audio engineer, or content creator will be proud to own. If you want to learn more about how to tune your drum kit, or you would like a one-on-one -on -one online drum tuning lesson with me, please visit KennyScherris.com. And as always, thank you for watching.